Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are here at Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. It's long been on our bucket list to visit this wildlife refuge. And wow, we weren't disappointed. We spent the last five days here and every day has just been amazing. There's a large abundance of mammals, birds, reptiles, and it's a haven for other species of wildlife. Situated in southwestern Oklahoma, the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge was established in 1901 for the protection of game animals and birds, some of which were near extinction. Encompassing approximately 60,000 acres, about 90 square miles, the refuge managed areas for public use, wilderness, and areas for special use to protect wildlife and their habitats. Worn by time and nature, the mountains loom large above the surrounding prairies. The refuge has several lakes, numerous hiking trails, and a large campground. A great introduction to the area is the very large and state-of-the-art visitor center that consists of 22,000 square feet of exhibit space. Interactive exhibits do an amazing job of portraying the history, flora, and fauna of the refuge. In all, the center packs a perfect sized oasis of history and information without being so large that you need several hours to go through everything. Often mistakenly called buffalo, the once common and widespread American bison ranged across the American prairies in the millions. Now reduced to a fraction of their current range and population, bison survive mainly in conservation herds and unfortunately their movements are greatly regulated. The impressive American bison is North America's largest land mammal. Males can weigh up to a ton. Although they have excellent sense of hearing and smell, they cannot see very well. If startled, they can stampede at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. An icon of Texas and the Southwest culture, the Texas Longhorn was driven north from Mexico in 1690. Although not native to the Americas, the longhorns were driven to near extinction by the early 1900s. In fact, longhorns were closer to extinction than the American bison. In 1927, the Texas longhorn was saved from possible extinction by William C. Barnes and other Forest Service men. When they collected a small herd of breeding stock in South Texas and released them on the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. Thankfully, today we can truly appreciate the early pioneers of conservation to allow us the opportunity of being able to see two species of mammal coexisting together that were once both very close to extinction.
what we consider to be America's version of a meerkat. The black-tailed prairie dog was once abundant and widespread throughout short grass prairies of the United States. Under the guise of pest control, huge colonies known as towns were exterminated. The largest, some of which were miles long, were wiped out by mass poisoning and shooting. Almost brought to extinction, these cute little buggers now exist only in small and isolated colonies. We felt very fortunate to see several small colonies on the refuge. The Mississippi kite is a slender bird of prey that is a summer visitor mainly to the southern Great Plains and southeastern United States. This long distance migrant spends the winter in South America. This Mississippi kite did not seem too bothered building its nest right above our campsite. Due to significant reductions in the size and range of the population, the black cat vario was listed as endangered in 1987. Since that time, the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge has actively managed this diminutive bird to assist in its recovery and now supports the second largest breeding population in the United States. The vibrant male summer tanager is unmistakable summer visitor to pine oak woodlands in the eastern United States and cottonwood groves in the southwest. It can be found on the wildlife refuge from April through September. The unbelievable colors of the red, yellow, blue, and green combine to make the male painted bunting unmistakable. Unfortunately, these same colors are the reason why the painted bunting is often caught and sold illegally as cage birds, particularly in Mexico and the Caribbean. The dick thistle is a summer visitor to the tall grass prairies and other grasslands of the Midwestern United States. It spends the winter in the tropics of Central America and Northern South America. The only birds we found on the refuge were along the entrance road to the visitor center. As shown here, the female on the right is slightly duller and lacks the black throat patch. Some of the other birds that we observed were this great egret, Canada Goose, American Robin, Blue Gray Gnatcatcher,
have to titmouse. Swainson's thrush. And Northern Cardinal. With its distinct blue, green, and yellow body, the large male eastern collard lizard has to be one of the most colorful lizards in North America. We found it to be abundant throughout the refuge, even at the entrance to the busy visitor center. It feeds on large insects, especially grasshoppers, but will also feast on small lizards. Although the female is not as brightly colored, she has a distinct red and black bands on the nape. The only other reptile that we encountered was this race runner, also known as a six-lined race runner. This long, slender, fast-moving lizard has an extremely long tail that is almost twice the length of its body. Its prey consists of spiders, grasshoppers, and large insects. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so that you do not miss our next Advent Nature as we will explore a hidden gem in western Oklahoma, the amazing Red Rock Canyon.